Hey guys, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this terrific Tuesday. I mean, I'm hearing like the birds and it's like beautiful outside. I'm about to step out for a while and get in some nature. Um, I hope everybody's doing good today. I'm, I'm making a video about taking a leap of faith. Um, I've been telling you guys about a uh, decision I was trying to go ahead and make on, you know, how should I go about it, what road to take or whatever, and I just, you know, kept on synchronizing as usual, and they were telling me that was the best route to go, so I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I kept on trying to do the decisions, instead of going the way I would want to do it, I try to go the opposite way of doing things, you know, I'm trying this, this different thing on trying to be a different person on oh, well actually not a different person but a better person um on how i do things nowadays when i make big decisions so um things has just been like chaotic it just seemed like um things weren't going right or whatever no matter how you know much you pray you meditate you try to stay good but it was just like i could not get out that funk and you know and i knew things were starting to turn around and things are starting to feel better but it, it was just like i was not seeing i was feeling it but i just wasn't seeing it and it was just like you have to keep that faith if you want to believe in something and you want something really really bad and especially if you know it's really good and you're you're going about it all the right ways you just have to stay positive believe that it's going to happen um, you have to keep the faith, but you know, it, it's just like when you see other people is out there, it's like right now, I'm just starting off, I've only been doing this for a month, and I think I'm doing pretty good for the views that I have on, on the things that I talk about, I think I'm doing pretty good for me just starting off, so it's just like when I see other people, it, it's just like when I first started, I was like, oh, I'm kind of jealous, like, gosh, they can put something up for two hours, and it's like, you know, they have like uh, 140k already. And I was just like, well, you know, you got to think about certain things that they're doing, how long they were, they've been doing it. It's just like you can't never compare yourself to other people. Uh, you, you might want their life, but you never know what they had to go through or what they, you know, what kind of struggles they had to go through, what, what losses they had to take. Because I guarantee you half of the people that got the things that they got, it wasn't handed to them. You know, a lot of people are actually fortunate enough to actually have a you know, a family that, you know, that, that are successful and well off that where they never knew the chance of struggle, you know, so it, it's just like when you, when you need something or you want something, you have to work for it, you have to work hard for it, you have to believe it's going to happen, like, I know right thing, things right now is not where it's supposed to be and I had to keep telling myself, you know, things are getting better, you have to stay positive about it, you know, things that, people get away with and you know about it and you know and it's just like other people are just like oh you're probably reading into something or you know you sure you you sure what's going on it's like oh I can't believe they did that or whatever but and then you know the truth you have to know that don't think that these things are going to continue to go on it is just like when people tend to get comfortable about things on how they hurt people and how they go about things don't think it's always going to be that way. Things are sometimes temporary. It's, it's like with, with your with your bad luck and everything, you, you're going through a lot of things, but then you have to look at, at it from a different angle or a different perspective. Instead of the negative, you have to actually look at it for, you know, for the lesson for itself. And that's why I had to constantly do, look at it for a lesson for itself. What do you think this is teaching you? If your past is coming back and you think that you're over something, obviously it's something that you were not either, you overlooked or you wasn't looking at it, you weren't looking at it um, from a different perspective or anything like that. So I had to keep telling myself that, you know, things are not going to always be this way. You know, things are getting better. I've become a better person. I had to look at myself and I constantly say that. Look at yourself from the time of six months from now or a year from now, especially if you're on a goal. You know, it might not be exactly where you want it. If you know this is what you want to do and this is what you want to make a career out of, look at the time for, from when you first started on your mission or your journey or whatever you want to call it until the present time and if you notice that things have progressively changed but even though it might be just the littlest things the littlest things we always need to be grateful for 
you know, for us to be able to appreciate the big things. So I know it's just like the things that I go through. It was like I was supposed to be set an example for something. It's just like for us, for humanity, it's like, dang, you know, she don't went through some mess and she can still, I can still smile. You know, I, I joke around, you know, I come up and you're like, hey, what's up? So, you know, it, it's not going to always be this way because I know my goal at first when I started making these videos is for this to reach my family. Like, hey, you know, notice me. Please call me. Reach out to me. But then I start seeing the... The feedback I was getting from my videos, how people were telling me good things about my videos. It's just like, oh my gosh, we believe you are. Oh, you know, we pray that, you know, things get better for you. And, oh, I can't believe your family put you through this. And, you know, things like that. So, um, it's not like the videos I'm trying to do is just a bad mouth talking about. I'm not trying to bad mouth talk anybody. But I feel like my truth needs to be heard. The things that I went through needs to be heard. I've been punished because of who I am and who I look like. And that's just like, that is not my fault. I cannot be held accountable for who my family is. So that is not my fault. But then I had to learn, you know, you, you have to not take things personal when people are just horrible and mean to you. And it's hard to, sometimes that's a pill that you, it's, it's hard to swallow. Like, oh, you don't want to get back at them. You don't want to get back at them because that shows you what kind of person you are that's why i have no energy to just get mad at any you know not actually get mad but get back at anybody because i feel like whatever is meant for you will happen to you you know it can be something good it can be something bad i don't want to wish anything on anybody you know that is bad i just you know many blessings to you or what was meant for you know what god meant for you to have or whatever you know i i just i I don't have time to sit up here and be mad at anybody anymore. I just don't have the energy. But uh, I just already know it's just with this this whole situation, it's just like more and more stuff comes out. And I'm just like looking like, are you freaking serious? This went on for real. So um, it's like I, I like when I was watching the movie um, Get Out and, you know, sorry, anybody that that uh, hasn't watched the movie, please stop the video now <laughs> because I'm about to tell, you know, a certain part, I'm not going to tell the end of a certain part, uh, where he was addicted to cigarettes and so she, you know, the mom wanted him to stop smoking around, especially around her daughter, so she was really pissed off about that. So she just started stirring that spoon and it was just like, all I know is just, I started gripping for stuff like, oh my God, if she don't stop freaking stirring that spoon, it's just irking me. And it started actually putting me back in the places and, and the things that I went through as a child that I did not remember that I went through. And I was just like, wow, I remember going to therapy, but I knew there were certain things I didn't remember. Like it was, it, it was just like, no matter how hard I concentrate, there was like a, a, a big brick wall that I could not bust through that was holding half of my memory away. And it was just seeing that certain part of the movie where I see him sinking into nothingness. I had dreams every time. It's like when I went through my therapy sessions, I would have dreams like that. It's like, dang, do I rather have the dreams that I had uh, suppressed for so many years? Or will I, you know, rather be sinking somewhere in, like in the middle of space, you know? And it scared the mess out of me. So I was screaming and hollering all the time. I'm like, guys, you know, what's going on? I'm like, I'm in nothing. I mean, nothing, you know, so it was just crazy. So, but after seeing that movie, it just brought back so many memories, even though some of them were bad. I'm just glad that I was able to remember them and it just didn't affect me the way they would have, like, from the beginning. Like, I would remember something that I had bit, you know, fragments and bits and pieces of, and I'm just like, I did not understand what, what does this mean? What is it trying to tell me? So, um... Then when I started getting the whole, you know, whole perspective of that situation, I would just burst out into tears like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this happened or, you know, why did this happen? I don't understand why. Why would you do that? You know, um, so I just didn't really know. But now it's like when I look at it, I'm just like, wow, you know, that's messed up. But I store that in my memory, you know, leave it for what it was and just, you know, learn from it and just take it for my journey on, you know. So I, in case if I get into a situation like that, I know how to handle it, you know. So I know when you go through a lot of things, 
it's trying to prepare you for something. It's, it's, it's like a survival mode that is trying to prepare you for, for things that, okay, if you're going this route and you're doing so many things and this is like things keep happening back, 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 back. Look at, look at how you do things. Look at how you react to things or how, how you go about it on a daily basis. You might have to look at that about yourself. It's just like, why am I going through this? Look at how you do things. And if you want things, that's what I do. I write down a list of everything that I want to do throughout the year. And I don't try to say set goals, but I say affirmations to myself that I'm going to believe that it's going to happen. And sometimes, you know, you're like, okay, it's, it's moving slow, snail-like pace. But you have to admit it is moving. So that lets you know that you're taking progress. It's just things if you want to have a good foundation you, it takes time to build one after another after another so that's how i know where i want to be at it's going to take time to do so i know you don't want no microwave thing because if it's microwavable you already know it's just like fast food is gone in a split second you're going to be hungry again so you don't want that so you just want things to happen to you and it's just uh when it comes for the good on the things that you want, just take a leap of faith and go about it the way you want, the way you think you should go. And if you don't have the answer for it, pray about it, you'll get the answers. Because it's, it's just like, you know, a lot, some people say, oh, I don't believe in God, or, you know, why do things like this happen? I, I can't question what, what happens on the universe. All I know is just about me. <laughs> My prayers has been working a lot for me, even though. I go through some things. I, you know, you have to go through stuff to get to it. So, that's what I'm saying. Put in the work. If you want things, you have to put in the work. So, I'm telling you, if anything that you want it is never going to come easy, it's because it, towards the end, you're going to say, oh, you know what? It was worth every little sweat and tear, hoot and holler, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be worth that. Because it's just like now I look at all the things that I went through and I'm just like, wow. You actually made it through this. And, I, you know, I just look, look at my dad's picture and just cry and say, you know what? I can't deal with this no more. This is just too much pain to deal with. I can't, you know, it, it's just, I used to constantly say that, like, I cannot deal with it. So, it was like 12, 22. So, that's what I did. I kept the leap of faith. I did what I had to do. You know, I, I stayed strong. Um, even though you're going through things. You have to stay strong. I, I'm trying to be that, 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 uh, what do they call it? Um, good hostess. So I can go ahead and get that karma to come back to me in, in good tenfold. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay on my P's and Q's, even though there, there's going to be some people that are going to step, press your buttons or whatever, but just walk away half the time. If you can help it, just try to walk away. So, um, I'm not going to take you guys' this time up. I was just hoping everybody's doing good on this fabulous day. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm going to go out here and get in this this prana air. air. Go smell that good prana, as Infinite Water says, so I can go ahead and get my thoughts clear on how what the future holds for me this week. So I hope everybody's doing good, and I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.